hello you guys welcome back to my channel and today i will be doing a day in the life with me showing you guys what i eat in a day so if you are not familiar with me or my channel my name is don elizabeth smith and i have been on a weight loss journey for almost two years january will make two years and i have lost over 153 pounds naturally when i say naturally that means no surgery no extra supplements none of that all naturally and i've done this by being in a calorie deficient and a mixture of strength training with cardio so without further ado make sure you guys use some pen and pad because i'm gonna be dropping some of my favorite foods some tips throughout this video and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> did not wake up like this i wish i did i would have if i would have tied my hair down but i didn't so i just swooped up these edges and now it's time to start my day so what i like to do the first thing i wake up is of course brush my teeth and i hope you do too i'm not into eating breakfast with morning breath some people are hey do you anyways enough of that I'm going to start with taking my daily vitamins, which you see right here on the picture. These are some of my daily vitamins that I take on the regular every morning when I wake up in the morning because y'all know it's quarantine season. I'm trying to stay away from that COVID. So, here are the vitamins that I take. And if, for those of you who don't know, I am partnered with Glowy, which is the apple cider vinegar gunny that has very great benefits. And I will be posting my link below with some of the health benefits of taking the vitamin so that you could purchase yours and save bigs with my discount code okay so today's leg day you guys i'm very very excited and leg days are my personal favorite because like that's like my main focus like on my legs glutes booty everything getting that ass on fat but that's what we're doing today so the first thing that i'm going to do is cook my breakfast and remember Y'all will be following what I eat in the day. Take notes, write it down, take a picture. Being in the calorie deficient should be fun, not stressful. And let me show you how you will achieve this, okay? Thank you. Okay, so one thing that I learned about the most effective way of being in a calorie deficient and just making it easier for yourself is realizing that you can eat more for less. And what I mean by that is you have things such as hidden calories, like instead of using olive oil, I use cooking spray, which is zero calories and doesn't add the extra, you know, to your calorie deficient. And instead of regular eggs, I eat egg whites, okay? So with that, you still getting that same good taste, maybe just slightly different. But at the same time, if it's a day that I really do want regular eggs, I still could do that. But instead, I'd rather do the egg whites because I'm able to eat more of it for less calories, okay? And one thing I realized is I have OCD when it comes to what I'm eating. I like to already have my day of eating planned out. So that way, because it always takes a lot because in order to be very accurate to me, I use a food scale. I put everything on the food scale. So I don't waste time extra starving to start cooking because then at that point, I'm frustrated, I'm hungry, I'm irritated. But I always start a little bit before time, try to eat before I'm real, real hungry because then that uh, like stop me from making like bad choices and then like once i realized that if i don't have nothing planned out i'll probably go for the quickest thing which is not the most nutritionist not the most best thing to choose but you can avoid that by planning ahead so i already have my breakfast plan for breakfast i'm going to be doing a little scramble with egg white spinach bacon and i use this microwave bacon because who got time to skillet some bacon in the skillet in the morning when you're hungry like me so warm this up for 10 seconds you can get this from heb and i will be using sliced cheese so that will be for breakfast and i'm going to show y'all real quick what i measure because the only thing i have to measure for breakfast is my eggs and i also will be eating some yogurt with it some dannon light and fit strawberry and banana yogurt and y'all will see that picture also so without further ado let me stop talking and get ready to eat all right, so this is what I do. I go ahead and add the container because you don't want the container to be included in the weight of whatever you're weighing. And then, boom, you hit 
canceled it out, okay? Okay, and so the next thing I like to do is check the nutrition facts of the object or the item that I'm wearing. And so this is three tablespoons, 46 grams per serving, 25 calories. So what I do is my scale is in ounces, but if it makes it easier for you to put it in grams, you could just switch the unit to grams, but I like to stay in ounces. And then all I do is transfer it onto the app and I will show you guys how to do that also. So I'm gonna be doing five ounces of this. And then once you go ahead and pour it into the container, then it will give you five ounces on there. And then all you do is transfer it to my fitness pal, which is the app that I use to track. All right, you guys, so I have the eggs into the container. And as you can see, it's 5.04 ounces. And then I will show you guys how to transfer this weight amount into the app. And so what that tells you is this is your serving size and then it will make it equivalent to how many calories that you'll be eating it is. And it's, like I said, this is the most effective way to stay on top of exactly the amount of you taking in. Of course, this is very extra work when it comes to getting ready to eat, but hey, do what you gotta do to get right and get tight, okay? Okay, let me tell y'all, this yogurt is like my favorite. It has become my favorite. They have different kinds between, I like the strawberry cheesecake one and the strawberry banana. But the thing about it is, it's 80 calories, you guys, and 12 gram of protein. You can't beat that. Like this validates my tip. I can't even get it out. This shit is so good. This validates my tips that you could eat more for less. So you get yogurt, and then you can match this with any type of snack that you want. And then you still can have a lot of other stuff with this and still be, you know, in a good range to just, you know, enjoy your food throughout the day. So if you're looking for something to go pick up at the grocery store, Dan and Light and Fit, and they have the yoga drinks also, which are very, very good. Pick it up, okay? And I will leave these details. Below. All right, you guys. So I am headed to the gym for my leg day, as I stated. And I want to give you guys some quick tips to being unstoppable in the gym. Write them down. Number one, be coordinated, okay? I am a Fabletics partner, so I'm wearing my Fabletics today, feeling fabulous or whatever. But I always like to be coordinated, even on days when I'm feeling rough, like, you know, try to match, put you on some nice shoes, put you on a cute outfit. Always know what your workout is going to be and what your workout is going to consist of, okay? Make you a bomb-ass playlist and go in there and kill it, okay? So, those are just my quick tips for the jump. And like I said, today is a leg day, so we're going to be lifting heavy. That's why I ate before. And without further ado, let's get to this workout. All right, y'all. So, my next tip is a workout is not complete unless you take a clock out photo. And you will appreciate this as you continue your journey because then you will have record of your progress. All right, you guys. So, just let the gym all showered up and fresh. Now, it's time for meal number two. And y'all... I have a problem. I'm addicted to cheese. Literally, I eat cheese maybe like two, three times a day. But I'm working on it. And hey, nobody's perfect. So today, for meal number two, I'm going to be making a grilled cheese sandwich. And y'all remember that tip about eating more for less. So the bread that I'm using is Nature's Own Honey Wheat. But look at that. 40 calories per slice. And y'all, I love bread also, but bread is like so high in calorie. So I do this bread instead, and it still tastes really, really good. And I'm going to be eating my grilled cheese sandwich with a Fair Life protein shake. And it's 150 calories with 30 grams of protein, and it literally tastes like a vanilla milkshake. I'm very, very particular about my protein. Like, I'm not the type of person that could just hawk something down just because it's protein. No, it has to taste good because I value everything that I eat. So if I'm not doing that one, I will, I'll do the whey protein cookies and cream kind. And this is 190 calories and it has 32 grams of protein. And I don't add anything to it. If anything, you could add maybe vanilla milk because it really gives it more flavor. But I do this with just ice and water. A lot of ice makes it real good. But yep, that's meal two, you guys. So now I'm just going to talk a little bit about the calorie deficient because I get so many questions about it and 
In all actuality, it's many different ways to calculate it. But the only way to figure out if your calorie deficient is accurate, you need to consider a couple of things. One being to make sure that it's not too low because like as you continue losing weight, you want to be able to decrease it as time goes by. And number two, you want to make sure you're taking in a sufficient amount of protein because while losing a significant amount of weight, you gonna experience loose skin like me myself i have i have a lot of loose skin but i have done really good at keeping it at a low amount by you know being in that calorie deficient which allows my body to burn fat and get rid of fat and also taking in that protein the right amount of protein to make sure i preserve as much muscle as possible okay so let me just explain why I feel like the calorie deficient is the best way to go with trying to lose weight. And I don't consider it a diet because being in a calorie deficient, it allows you to be able to eat different things without restricting yourself. Like tonight, when you see, like when you watch this video fully, you will see like the different things, type of things that I eat. And if you follow my Instagram and look at my meal highlights and my food idea highlights, I post different things that I eat. And the thing is, as long as you log in, as long as you put it into the calorie amount and it fits, you can have it. So, like, some days I feel like I want cheesecake, I go get cheesecake. You know, it's all about eating what you want, eating in moderation, staying within those numbers, okay? And so, a lot of people always say, oh, okay, I want to lose weight in my breasts. Oh, I want to lose back fat. Oh, I want to tone up my legs. One thing is that you can't really tell yourself where to lose weight the best route is being in that calorie deficient which allows your body to burn fat because you burn out more than you take it in and a great balance between strength conditioning and cardio a lot of people overdo cardio and that uh basically that just results in you losing a lot of muscle but with the balance of that and strength training you allow yourself to create more muscle, and then taking in that protein to preserve as much muscle and allow yourself to build that muscle at the same time, you guys. Yes, it's a lot to take in, but these are just my quick ideas and quick tips that I wanted to, you know, inform you guys with. So, with the calorie deficient, like I said, you're able to eat different things. And a lot of people, I feel like, like me in particular, when I first, like, tried to lose weight, I was trying different things, like, eating, you know, eating certain things, only eating this and only eating that. This is, like, way before I really got into my journey. And I never really found nothing that worked because the key is you can't go cold turkey. Like, I was a person that was used to eating Wendy's, McDonald's, all different type of fast foods and stuff. And it's like, you can't just wake up the next day and say, okay, I'm done. Unless you got the powers of a magician, then, yeah. But I know I didn't have the powers of the magician. So, with that being said, I still was eating some of my favorite foods and just slowly, you know, slowly getting rid of them, slowly making healthier options. And like I said earlier, learning how to eat more for less. So, of course, more vegetables instead of sodas, candies, and sweets and stuff. You know, more vegetables, more fruit, and stuff like that. And uh, I noticed that, like, a lot of people be saying, oh, I'm going to try keto. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm against it, but... For me, it just wouldn't work for me because carbs are your main source of energy. Like, when I go live heavy in the gym, I need those carbs to give me that energy. I don't want to starve myself for car, uh, with, uh, starve myself from carbs because all that will result is when I do start intaking carbs again, boom, the weight coming back like, hello, did you miss me? So it's just like, you know, creating that balance, standing that calorie deficient, doing your cardio, doing your strength training. And the one thing that a lot of people have a hard time doing that will help you get to where you want to be, and it's being consistent. And that's with anything you do, whether it's starting a business, whether if you want to decide you want to start running, just anything. The hard thing is being consistent. And remember, abs are made in the kitchen, okay? My girls that want the flat stomach, my men that want to see that ab, that tone, that cut, abs made in the kitchen. Nutrition is 80% of weight loss, weight gain, same thing. Because even if you're trying to gain weight, you have to eat a certain amount in order to allow your body to be able to, you know, grow and develop, build that muscle. So, I hope this was very informing. Just a couple of tips. Okay, here we are with meal number three, y'all. I'm in love with this yogurt and it tastes even better paired with... The Special K protein bar that has 12 grams of protein, okay? I'm making spaghetti for the first time. Wish me luck. Yes, and yes, I did weigh everything that's in this pot, including the, the noodles back there. And 
from the bell peppers to the onions to the ground beef and to the marinara sauce everything getting way so i'll show y'all my finished product and this is my dinner spaghetti okay so as y'all can see i love a big dinner and this is what my spaghetti is looking like y'all i just this is my first time making spaghetti so don't judge me i called my mama she was like where is this and where is that hey what you see is what you get so this dinner is under 600 calories mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. It's off the shine, y'all. All right, you guys. So here we are at the last meal of the day. What well, we're gonna call this a meal. This is my dessert. I'm really, really, really love sweets. I cannot go to bed without eating another sweet. So I always make sure I incorporate a sweet end daily and some of my favorite is in line cookies and cream ice cream y'all it's very low calorie and it literally tastes so good and i also do yeah so this is the chocolate chip cookie dough i like the fudge brownie ones i like the chocolate the regular chocolate ones i like oreo things anything that's pretty you know like nice little low calorie but like i said if i want a cheesecake one day i'm gonna eat that cheesecake but yep yeah, so let me enjoy this ice cream. And of course, I will be putting it on the food scale to measure it. But yeah, 2.5 ounces is about 90 calories of this ice cream. They also sell in lighting with, um, as the ice cream bars also, my favorite. Okay, so here's my daily intake for today. I try to take in about 1500 calories daily and here is the overview. So I hope this video was very helpful to you guys and I will be dropping more videos with more tips and more different, you know, things to get into the habit of a healthier and a consistent lifestyle. So if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments below. And once again, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe.